what is up dtube what's up steam blockchain today i want to talk about the potential of a global economic debt reset it basically would mean or the potential of global economic debt reset so global debt uh, which is student loans and all that um it's in the trillions and uh, it's a lot it's just a high number it's a very high number we consider trillions and it's not just student loans it's it's just regular loans as well it gets pretty complicated eventually in who's gonna pay all that is it realistic that humans are gonna pay trillions trillions or billions back is it realistic it's never gonna happen right it's never gonna happen so the new concept that you hear or the new concept that is gonna be heard the concept that that or what, what people have been living through the last hundred years is a lot of rise and falls which has brought humans back to the same system it has been it has been it goes up a lot then it crash it goes up a lot and then it crash but always sort of the same system going back so what is different this time if you have a reset would we do the same thing all over again I guess in some ways in some ways you can argue that we would in some ways you can argue that crypto and tokens that it's kind of that it's kind of the same thing but that it is more efficient that we speed up time so let's say we have a system that is 100 times faster that means even if we get a big crash even if let's say we get a big crash it if everything is 100x speed up it means that it would go back or it would go up again at 100x the speed which means when we speed up time by using faster technology there it's not really gonna matter because people have the value that they need first of all and also that people can see things coming 100x faster because they have access to information which uh which when they have access to information they know more stuff they get access to better opportunities so if you ask me it seems likely that we are gonna get some kind of reset eventually and it's quite simple if you ask me if you ask me it's quite simple and it comes down to the, the daily use the daily use of the daily use of a token dig digital token basically means you own your value and it's kind of it's kind of you never really want to go back right at least not when you're when you're let's say a 20 year old that hasn't been using bank accounts for a long time like let's say you are in your mid 20s or something you only been maybe having a ha have had a bank account for five years and been using it for five years in your life and then this crypto stuff come and five years that that's not a long time so you see this new system coming out and you're like i'm just gonna use this uh, because you really want to be like an owner of your value right so what we can see is gonna happen is you're gonna get this cutoff point where there's gonna be so many people moving to new better technology there's gonna be so many people 
I basically want to own their value and then a system is just gonna the old is just gonna fade away not because it stopped working but just because people are using something that is just faster it is better and everyone will not use something that's better so if we take a look at this the global economic debt reset it will basically mean that you turn sort of almost everything back into a zero or maybe a one in many ways you make numbers into not so important stuff anymore because hey we see these new platforms coming out uh, that for example right now we, lo we love steam blockchain but we all know that it's kind of complicated to get an account and you need to sort of have a lot of knowledge about or you need to research a lot you need to read the frequently asked questions you probably read to, need to read the documentation you have to figure out how to buy an uh, steam account and now eventually we're going to have these platforms where a person just hop on it and they can instantly type create a blog and they can even send cryptocurrency without having to spend cryptocurrency so we have new platforms coming out like publish zero x which means you can earn multiple tokens on a post and you can already tip posts because you can get tips sponsored and it creates this frictionless gateway in without a complicated gateway keeper and and we know that steam blockchains was also planning this that you can get multiple tokens per post and we're eventually probably going to get to that point but it's just when a, when a regular person just realize oh wait a sec i have access because it's really all about access like when a person has access to a simple token they're like people are lazy we should remember people are lazy so they're just gonna use the, t the, the, the token or the value system that is the easiest to use and the fastest to get and is just widely available and that it's global that's a big problem with these fiat currencies it's pretty hard they're not really that global they kind of they're sitting in an account and even not even banks are communicating that fast with each other and it's just it's just like giant mess so we can see that we're gonna get this cutoff point where all the debt all, all the debt uh, student loans and all this it's been gathered up in a specific currency right but if people really just stop using that it's gonna be a bit complicated right the whole system and it's not like we're we're gonna get we're gonna get less production but it's just that the concept of a human being pr or pr the concept of a human being pr pr or pr producing like a machine is gonna be absurd because why not, not why not just use the machine if you if you want to produce just use the machine and for humans humans can just focus on being and focus on art or philosophy or use you just as i said use be a human being doesn't have to be this weird machine that is doing something that is how much is this this is how every human is looking at it right now like how much is this human producing but it's going to be so pointless when a when a smartphone is like the ultimate produce machine and it outperforms every human so so it does seem like we're just going to get some kind of weird reset because it just makes sense it just makes sense what else what else would happen and it comes down to energy it comes down to how much energy certain systems need 
So a lot of these older systems, it takes a lot of energy, time and energy and resources. And it's, it's a huge drain. And it's, it's like a tail that's just going to fall off when it's it, when 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 you can say that humans are not feeding more time and energy into the into the tail it's just going to fall off and that's exactly why it does seem to make pretty much sense that it's going to be some weird recent po reset point of all that and it's almost like people are just gonna pick a different story and it's almost like okay wait a sec wait wait a sec it's all just kind of virtual right now doesn't that mean that it kind of doesn't exist well then that makes kind of sense so you know we're just gonna forget about it it's it's about humans building a new story or even just living in reality and sort of realizing wait a sec if it almost doesn't exist already, can we uh, uh, reset? So it does seem like it's gonna happen, and it, that doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that the new systems are gonna be paradise. But the new systems will stuff will happen much faster. People will have much more information. So. So we're still gonna have human behavior. We're still gonna have chaos in in many ways, but um, but chaos is kind of relative. Chaos a hundred years ago meant uh, that then it was really chaos. These days it's almost as if it's more virtual chaos. It's uh, simulated chaos. That you can even argue wait a sec is this even real it's almost like we are simulating potential scenarios and we might come to state where we used even though that this might sound weird but are we even inventing a new world <laughs> so another big aspect why it's going to take some time to see this unfold is because I feel that 20 year olds they see the real world as smartphones and the digital landscape well maybe 40 year olds just because they've been living so much in let's say the real world or the physical world that they can see even though many aspects of the digital world is also physical in some aspects because it has atoms but 40 year olds they more see the real world that they can see with their eyes as as uh, as the real thing and in many aspects also they they look then also at money as this physical thing so for them it's kind of hard just because money is uh, it's not just a label it's it's almost like an an object i think for them for that uh, for that group and uh, it's a specific kind of identification with money which is gonna make it so a global reset sounds pretty crazy but for people to sort of realize or for people that are younger they can probably more see the new coming in and they sort of see that it's, it's sort of as, like, as an end to a chapter and that it, it has to end because for something new to emerge you sort of have to have some kind of reset and it seems as if who knows when it's gonna happen but we can see that large-scale society changes happens because of technology so within five to ten years a lot of people are gonna use new technology better technology we might not even have smartphones and because because we might get information in some other way who knows i mean it's already starting to happen with voice and voice assistants alexa google now and all this and uh, and who knows what's gonna happen but that, that that's also one of the 
interesting aspects about life. We don't know. We don't know, but not knowing has huge potential. Because then we haven't come to a conclusion about stuff and we're still looking. So we can still do cool stuff, but it's gonna get interesting. It's gonna get interesting. Some something is probably gonna happen in terms of and not just like it's gonna change in many ways. When humans can use focus on let's say exploration that is gonna change a lot and i already see it so a global economic death reset sounds exciting sounds very exciting and we we should probably say or have a lot of gratitude to to our friends called ai and automation that basically is going to speed this process up and uh, it's going to be cool, I think. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that and uh, yeah, have a great day, DQ and Steam blockchain.